My name's Luke Rowland. A lot of people like to call me Luke Skywalker, but I only respond to that when I'm hot. In which case, you may call me that because this is my smoke spot, the Dagobah system, which makes my little green friend more of a Master Yoda, as that is what teaches me the ways of the Force that binds us, penetrates us, surrounds us. I like to call that comedy. Now you can find comedy in many concepts of our life, like reflections, or the ways that our mind works. But I want to draw comedy from a different concept today, from art. What is art? I couldn't really think of a good answer. So I used an ancient practice. I looked it up in a dictionary, and it told me that art was a noun. It was the expression of human creativity or imagination through various means or medium. I didn't really like this definition because it was kind of generic, very vague, and it didn't give me a lot to make fun of. So I participated in an even more ancient practice. I asked someone who knew more than me. Now I'm very fortunate to have an uncle who is an artist, and not just any artist, an academic artist, as he taught art at various prestigious universities and institutes all over the world, like Harvard. Now I don't know why anyone would want to go to Harvard for an art degree. Maybe they want to prosecute an art thief for perform surgery on a painting. But I asked my uncle Tyler, I said, hey, What's art? Like, what do you teach your students before you hand them that big-ass bill? And he proceeded to give me a handkerchief. This handkerchief. Now, this handkerchief is called the fossil in the shell, and it goes in-depth on the different concepts and different forms of artwork throughout all of human history. And I thought it was very funny that he gave me this because he answered the question, what is art? with, well, art. Now I'm not going to go into the specifics of this handkerchief. If, uh, if you want to, if you want to learn all about it, you can just ask him yourself. His name's Tyler Rollins. Or you can uh, enroll in Harvard. But the gist of this handkerchief is basically that artwork has been around since as long as the human imagination has, for more than 40,000 years. It's very much what creates our culture. Since the beginning of time, since like, you know, clans times, when we were cavemen just painting images in caves to when we became masters of our domain and we made statues of liberty, to even the dumbass TikToks that we make now or the conception of Star Wars. Yes, Star Wars is a piece of art. It's in the form of storytelling, and it's a masterpiece at that. Hell, even comedy is a form of art, for I'm expressing my imagination to you right now. But artwork has evolved over the years just as much as humanity has as well. But also, the more things change, the more they stay, tend to stay the same. Because you can find caves filled with artwork from modern humans just as easily as you can find caves filled with artwork from millennia ago. Just like the cave in here in the Dagobah system. And living up to my namesake as Luke Skywalker, I shall explore the ways of the Force and the ways of the arts. So come along with me. Now this shit's convoluted as fuck. It's like a tag inside of a tag inside of a bigger tag. Yet it all looks very medieval. Very, uh, very like Norwegian inspired. I think so. I don't know though. So. Wish I could read graffiti. This shit's cool as fuck though.
I mean, look at it. This looks like if, like, Mjolnir had breast cancer. It'd be this. Like, that'd be the insignia on, on the side of the hammer. Nice. Here's a good... Here's a good example of a piece of art right here. And yeah, it's an art of man. Man made an art of man. How nice. I like it though. Got the face, got the brain right here. Wonder what he's thinking of. Oh, he's thinking of pussy. Yeah, because pussy's always on the mind. I also like how it's one of those like formats where you can't tell if he's looking that way or if he's looking this way. Except for this guy's clearly looking that way. Yeah, this is art. Oh, this is another good piece of art right here. I wonder who did this. I like that. It's like a trident of hell. Maybe it's like uh, the antithesis of Aquaman's trident. You know, the one that controls the seven seas. This one's in the depths of hell. It's got fiery flames on it. I like it. The devil's baby. Oh, oh. Now this one's animalistic. I like it. Got the blueness, got teeth, fucking eyes. This looks like the cookie monster's orgasm face. You probably got like a soggy cookie or something. Spiders in here. Oh, now this is the type of eye I'm talking about. This is genuine, divine inspiration right here. This is a piece of art. Like the eye of Sauron, less evil. This looks like hell. This looks like my eye. I mean, I got brown eyes, but like black. You know, you can see it though. I see what they did there. You know. <laughs> Speaking of eyes. This is the apple in our eyes. I like it. I think this might be a little bit of a comment of how we're always just like glued to our phones and our pupils itself are becoming apple logos because that's all we fucking stare at anyway. Unless you're an Android user. In that case, you're just, just one with the dark side. Actually, no, probably. Probably Apple's the empire, if we're going to be honest here. Just look at a Mac. I keep on running into cobwebs. And I have a fucking lightsaber. I gotta start using this, man. I feel like I'm like feeling a disturbance in the force whenever I'm walking through here. I just get, ugh, ugh. We won't get bitten, and if we do, I just turn into Spider-Man. So, what's the worst case that can happen? Oh, oh, now we're talking. Entering in the mushroom forest. Like, you got a trippy blue one here, you got the generic regular one looking here, and then you got this yellow bean. Kind of match it. Yellow neon beam of light. I think this is like a ghost mushroom. Yeah, this is a ghost mushroom. So it's like what you get before and after the trip. You know, before you only see this little weird one. It's like, ah, oh, that kind of looks like Toad's house. But then you eat it and you realize, oh, there's so much more layers to it. And that's the key with the mushroom. There's always more that meets the eye, like the force.
back to the monsters again. I guess this is a uh, part of a series. I like it though. This kind of looks like Yoda. If he was just like really into hard drugs. Like instead of just smoking weed, like the guy into like some speed. Maybe some heroin. That looks like pink guy. You might want to get that checked out, man. Now that's a handsome face. It looks like the mask that I try to wear every morning. And I look in the mirror and I'm like, well, what are you doing? Just, just take that off. Smile. Have some fun. You don't have to be all serious all the time. It also kind of looks like Michael Jackson if you think about it. This looks like an advertisement for Thor Love and Thunder. But I was here a couple years ago and this shit was here. So it definitely predates the movie. I like it though. It's like a Vikings tag. Maybe Vikings were down here. I wonder what their artwork looks like. I'm sure it's pretty trippy. So you've heard the dictionary's definition of art, you've heard Harvard's definition of art, you've seen plenty of art yourself, but you never got my definition of art, mainly because I told you I couldn't come up with a good one. But through this making of the comedy of concepts video, I've kind of deduced a good theory of what I like to think. There's two sides of the coin of that is the concept of art. There's the human side, and then there's the divine side that inspires the human to create the coin. You know, us humans, we have the ability to look out at the environment surrounding us. And with that, we can see the face of God. And then we look in a mirror, and we can see the face of ourselves. Or through the environment, it becomes a reflection and through looking at the face of God, we do see the face of ourselves or some form of middle ground. And the creation of that middle ground between divine and man, that is what art is. Because an artist who creates, he always usually says, I had divine inspiration before I created it. You know? Like Michelangelo, when he was making the Sistine Chapel, and he had Adam pointing at God, and God pointing at Adam. Those were the same. Man, God, art. It's all the same. Everything's the same. Everything's a circle. So I think that art is just whatever creative middle ground you find between the divine and the human. That's what art is, whether it be literature, whether it be music, whether it be visual. What art isn't, for sure, and I can tell you that, is a fucking TikTok dance. I'm not saying dancing isn't art, that is for sure an artwork. But, I don't know. TikTok, fucking TikTok. That's not creation, that's just content. But anyway, I'm about to go into a ramble that I don't need to go into. What's your art? What's your definition of art? How can you make it? 
how can you use the force? That's the question. It's not to be or not to be. We all already are. It's to do or not to do. To paint or not to paint. To sing or not to sing. To be human or to be a meatbag. That's a concept for another day. <laughs>